He's in, he's in a coma. Ha ha, it is a joke. <laughs> okay, I'm with you. Did you hear about the heroin addict who couldn't afford any... Um, any so inject himself with curry powder. He's in hospital. He's in a coma. Okay, it was a joke. Okay. <laughs> GG's, man. GG's on the joke. Right, okay. Let's play some... Uh, let's play some Dice Folk. This is a roguelike kind of game, guys. Um, we've got the starting thing where we have different talisman, uh, talismans to go through. We've got Warrior. Um, you unlock these as you go along, uh, depending on which world you get to. Storm Talisman, Wrath Talisman, Pain Talisman. So I've only got four. Well, there's only four that looks available to unlock. Maybe if you get to the fourth world, you unlock another talisman. I'm not too sure. Um, but basically, these monsters here, you can see here, these are called Chimeras. Um, these are things that you can have. You can you can find these in each map. So this is the map for uh, this this world, and you can have them in your team to battle. Okay. Now the way we battle is by rolling dice, and I'll explain that in a minute. So these chimeras are available to find on this map, this world. Then these ones are available to find on the second world. So we still got some more to unlock here. These ones on the third. You know how it goes. Okay. So we're gonna start on the. We're gonna start. We can start on, uh, which one? We'll, we'll start on this world. We'll start on the warrior one, yeah? I'm all good, Dead Stereo. I'm all good, man. How was your, uh, how was your download going, apart from the rain? I can't stay on Work is busy. Wish I could. Dude, thank you so much, man. Thanks for jumping in, man. We had a player who played for Norwich in the 50s, 60s, and played 391 games, and scored 127 goals for the club, and ended up all-time scorer who died this week. Who was, uh, who was that player? Yeah, it's, it's been a lot of, I've not looked into it. I've not looked looked into it, man. Um, yeah, rest in peace to that man as well. Okay, so we've got cursed chests. This gives us items that um, they're cursed items, but once you equip them, you can't unequip them. Okay, so um, you have to think tactically with these kind of things. They give you buffs. They give you uh, uh, extra stuff as well. So we've got an equipment choice here. We can uh, we, we get to choose as well when we open these things. Uh, welcome in, Sheepy. Welcome in. We are, yeah, Kevin Campbell. We just said that. Yeah, Kevin Campbell. Um, absolute legend, man. Rest in peace, dude. Alan Hansen is in hospital at the minute. He's critical in a minute, isn't he? Hopefully not, but... Uh, yeah, it's a shame, man. It's a shame. Welcome in, Sheep. We're playing Dice Folk. This is a roguelike kind of game, so not every run is going to be the same. Okay, so these are going to be cursed items. Uh, on spawn, plus five strength for the rest of the battle, uh, but self inflicts four confusion okay every time it attacks an effective chimera takes an amount of damage equal to confusion value so every time we attack we get a plus five but every time we attack we get damage four or on spawn gains 10 gold uh and at the end of the turn we lose one gold i don't see how i don't see how that's a bad thing <laughs> so let's grab that but these curse items uh they're obviously purple there uh, once you equip them, you can't unequip them. Okay. Um, okay. So this this would be really good. Um, okay. Everything at the top here. Everything at the top here is stuff to use in battle. So we've got it heals fifty percent of the max HP of the ally team. So we could use this in battle. Um, these are the um, the best ways to heal your thing. You can heal on the map. But you don't have items that you can you can actually go into like and there's no bag of inventory that you can go to to heal. So you you can heal on the map by going to certain places. Uh, there's bonfires there. There's uh, there's berries in the bush. I'll see the bush in a minute. Um, but you've got to use them tactically as well. So there's no point healing now because we haven't had a fight and each map is going to have a boss fight as well. So I would always try to do your best to uh, heal before the boss fight. Uh, don't use the heals until you get to that part. Okay. Uh, also, uh, if we press the left button here, we've got the uh, this is the equipment stuff. So you can kind of see I'm in the way, but next to next to this guy here, we've got his health, 16 out of 16 at the minute. That's his health, uh, and his, his strength is six. Okay. One underneath his strength is five. It's the same. It's the same uh, Chimera, but he's five. Uh, this one's four as well. So what we want to do, we want to buff our man up here, okay? So this guy is always going to be... He's always going to be in our party. So we're going to curse him with this item. So every time we spawn, we get ten gold. So we're basically, if we win a fight, we're just going to get nine. We're going to get nine gold every every fight, which is... That's awesome. Gold is very key in this game, guys. 
Take care, for, uh, Forsaken. Thank you so much, man. Terry Alcock. Ah, oh, okay. Is that what his name is? Thank you so much, Sheep. I know it's early for you guys, but I do appreciate you by being here. This is Dice Folk. Uh, when I went live, no one was playing this. So I think we've got all of the viewership for Dice Folk, guys. <laughs> this game looks great. Do you know if it's physical or Switch? Uh, uh, for the Switch? I don't know. I am looking into that. I'd, I'd, love a, I'd love a physical copy of this because I'm genuinely hooked. I'm hooked on this. Uh, above us here, these are the dice. We've got three dice. They've got, um, you see there, they've got uh, different things on them. The middle dice, this one here, this is rotation. We go rotate left and right because we've got a team of three. Okay? And then we've got random rotation as well so that it randomly picks. Uh, there is very, very... Um, uh, it's very, very important to be tactical about these when you get certain monsters. And I'll show you what I mean uh, if we get a Chimera. This one here, we've got some idols, which do absolutely nothing. We've got a shield and a uh, strength buff. What we do with those, we want those two. But we also want to unlock more die faces so we can get rid of the idols. Um, or anything else you want as well. When we get extra strength as well. Um, you can put them on a, a defensive die if you want. Or a rotation die to get extra to get extra attacks, okay? Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute as we go along. Okay, we've got an abandoned tent here. We don't really want to go in here yet because this might be... Um, this might be... Uh, healing. I don't want to be healing yet. You want to you want to try and get to the most um, amount of damage before you heal, before you go to the boss fight as well. This game looks great. Okay, yeah, sorry, sorry, dude. I want a physical copy. So do I, man. So do I. I mean, if... if <laughs> Good Shepherd Entertainment, I'm watching. I'd love a physical copy of this. Uh, right, okay, so we've rolled our dice. Um, I think, you know what, we can have this. We can have this up here. Small, small, but it'll do the job. All right, we'll have this up here. Okay, so next to me, we've got the dice. We've got an idol, which does absolutely nothing. So that is why it is, uh, it is now blanked out. Uh, the white ones are our dice. Uh, the purple ones are the enemy dices. We actually control the enemy's actions as well. So we have we can be smart about them as well because they do get rotations as well. So let's just say the Boglin was on, but the this Chisley wasn't on. We could rotate the Chisley back on because he's got less health and attack the Chisley, okay? Um, I'm still getting used to the names, guys. Okay, so we, we can rotate our, our monsters or we can attack. That's all we can do. We can't do anything with Idle. Um, so, and it tells you, it tells you as well, you see the chisley there, it's now green, then it goes yellow, and it tells you how many, uh, uh, how much health it's got left, it's got three left after this attack here, we can't really do anything, we're not going to rotate because, uh, your man is the, uh, is, is stronger, but what he's done there, with the clash attack, they've attacked, they've attacked each other, so he's attacked me, we've attacked him, we've killed the chisley, uh, we're now we're now run out of turns, so we will end this turn here. I got uh, 1,500 coins on Mario Kart this morning. Oh yes, Villa on a Saturday morning must be rare. I know, man. I was supporting everyone last night. I supported everyone last night. I was actually at home. I, like I, I'm never I'm never at home on on a Friday night or on Saturday, so I'm actually home. So I want to show off this game. This is Dice Folk. Welcome in, Bennett. Hopefully, I'll stop sniffing. I don't really. I won't really know until I watch the edit. Okay, the next next lot of rice. So this is the next round. We've rolled the dice again. There are um, abilities where you can re-roll the dice. That, uh, so we, we can we can uh, we'll get to that in, in the point. But we can use a couple of these and then re-roll for anything we've left. Okay, so bulk up gives him extra strength. Uh, and then we've got attack as well. So we're going to give your man here extra strength. Uh, so now he's got eight strength. He's going to take eight off his twelve, leaving four. Simple maths, guys. Uh, but this this guy here is going to charge attack or oh, clash attack sorry and then he, so we're going to kill him again because we're going to clash in here we've got two gold but also because we equipped the thing we got 10 gold it's going to take there we go got nine gold off him there it's going to take one off him there we go it took one off us it's awesome It's a Fortnite sweat. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. What should I change it to? Should I change it to Call of Duty? Okay, this is the bonfire. This is where you, um, you know, your Elden Rings, your, your Dark Souls and stuff like that. This is where you go, where you can, um, you, you can pick what you want to do. I always heal. I always save the bonfire to the very end so we can heal. Okay, we've got a scroll master here. This scroll master, if we, uh, if we go over here. 
It's different things on different maps, which is pretty cool. Okay, so they're going to draw a Chimera. Now, this has got a special ability that in the blue there, it says exit lead. So this is what I mean by rotation. So when it leaves rotation, okay, that's exit lead. So the lead person is the one that you're using as the battle. When it, le when it leaves as a rotation, it grants four strength to the new allied leader for the rest of the turn. Which is, that is why you've got to be very tactical with the rotations as you get further along with the game. Okay, so he's only four. Okay, he's only four. He's got 20 health. And you can't see it here, but if I just uh, if I just move myself. This one at the bottom is 20 and he's got four attack. Okay, this guy's got six attack. So we're going to swap him. Uh, we're going to swap him with, uh, we're going to buy him because he's only eight gold. We're going to swap him with the bottom one here. Okay. Because he's got the extra rotation. He's got the extra rotation ability. So we could have him as lead and rotate him out every single uh, every single fight. So if we go to uh, this thing here, this little crown here, click on that. That means he's going to be the leader in every fight. Okay. And then what we do, we can probably attack and then rotate him out. And then we can have another, um, uh, another go. But we could just rotate him out straight away, giving the next person... The, uh, the the plus four buff and let him attack instead. So yeah, quite uh, quite 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 a tactical game. And like I said, it's a uh, it's, a, it's a roguelike game as well. So you're just running through the game, and um, once you die, you die. But you're collecting everything as you're going along, and seeing how far you go is the uh, is, is the aim of the game. Okay, let's uh, let's let's show what I'm on about here. Okay, hopefully we get a rotation on one of the dice. Look at this soul map. So we've got a rotation here. Oh, do we not? Why isn't he leader? That's balls that plan up, isn't it? Pretty sure I made him leader. Okay, so he's going to attack this, this guy here. This is a new Chimera that I haven't got. Okay, so what we do now, what we're going to do is... If we rotate him out now... This next guy is going to get a buff. There you go. Now he's got a buff. Now he's now he's ten. This reckless attack also injures yourself as well. So be 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 careful about that. I haven't played anything all week. It, it felt really strange. Has it felt in a, in a good way? In a good way at all? It is weird not having Bennett on 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 during the day. Yeah, it looks awesome. Okay, so we have uh, this is what we've got here. We've got incapacitated. Once per turn, self purifies. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you, so with the reckless attack, you get incapacitated. So you, you get hit. So, so you hit, and then that means you can't, uh, you can't attack again. Um, so this would be good to have because there are some abilities you get where you uh, automatically get incapacitated. So if you have this, it will purify you for that turn. Um, so once per turn it says okay, so this is our loot. We've got that and then this one here lightly heals the whole team So you get like abilities like this, but but if you don't collect these now you um, you lose them you lose them Not to be staring at screen constantly. I can't lie <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's the very very long hours. That's why I try to stick to two hours Dude, whatever you're doing and if it's making you happy, it's, you know, that's the main thing. Elite battles. Okay, so there's going to be some of these on the bottom. Um, I don't think they're on every map, but there's going to be some of these. And these are going to be tougher enemies. Uh, there might even be more enemies on there as well. Um, but we have got a boss battle as well. So I would probably fight everyone so you get your gold. Um, and then see where your health is at because we are getting these extra, extra buffs of health. Um, and then... Go into an elite battle, you'll get the um, you'll get the gold for that. You might even get the items, and then uh, replenish your health before you go into a boss battle. Okay, up here, up here, there is a um, there's a cloud. Obviously, we're going to unlock something, but then there's also a a shrine shaped uh, cloud as well. I didn't make him leader again. Okay, right, what we need we need we need him in anyway. We need him in. Let's get him in. So this guy here, that we, we have to control their stuff before we end our turn. So this guy here has got more strength than the other two. So we're going to rotate him out. 
So the guy with four strength, so he does less damage. Let him attack us. We'll end our turn. You can only have one attack per turn, depending on you know what, what dice we've got here. We're obviously going to rotate this guy out. Now we've got the buff. We're going to random rotate and hope Soulmate comes in, which he does. Now he's dead. We get four gold. Um, and this is a random action for the enemy team. Listen to me. The music's pretty calming as well. Happy Wrestle Ball Day. <laughs> clash, of the, clash of the castle. Clash at the castle. Yeah. So he hasn't got his buff now because that was only for that one turn. So what we could do now is put him... Uh, oh, it's rotation uh, left. Okay. So it says left and right or random one. So we, we got the wrong guy in. But what we'll do... We'll still, we'll still beat this guy up. He's got a clash attack. What we can do here is give this guy a guard, which guards for one attack, okay? So with the clash attack, it's going to hit the shield. That's why it's blue. It's not going to do any damage. But he's also going to hit himself. Bang, bang. There you go. So we're, we're being very tactical here. He's losing one gold. Okay. Uh, we're going to rotate... No, we're not going to rotate because your man's not coming back in again. Okay, so we're going to rotate this guy. It's a random rotation. It's only two people there, so he's going to actually... It's going to be him. Okay, so he's incapacitated because he's used reckless attack. So if we had that equipment on him, it would mean this would uh, purify that. Okay, clash attack. He's just going to kill himself. But we can't hit him because he's incapacitated. So now it's gone. We're going to rotate out, get your man back in. Hit this guy. This guy's going to clash attack. He's rotated out. He's got a buff. There we go. Okay. Get back in. The random attack made us rotate for some reason. Uh, we may as well make this hit someone else because it would have probably killed him. Hold on. Oh, the attack team randomly rotates. Okay, so that's why that's why it's rotating. I was wondering then, but he's obviously got the buff here, isn't he? How is Dice Folk? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm playing it off stream quite a bit. So I wanted to show you guys just one run, and we'll play some Mario Kart after this. I wanted to show you guys one run because it's not like uh, you get to a certain point and save it. It's get as far as you can before you uh, before you save it. Um, at the top here, you can change your battle sp uh, speed, which is the uh, snail rabbit. Okay, this is the top right corner here. Okay, we got another rec reckless attack. This is going to hit himself, but he's incapacitated. The guy died, so he didn't hit me back. So we're sorted there. If we wanted to heal, we've still got the uh, the the the, the, um, the chip up top. Uh, thank you so much, man. I've not had breakfast yet, either. Okay, guys. Uh, right, so we've unlocked a shrine. Two shrines. Which is pretty cool. These are going to have um, chimeras in, which are the monsters that you could use in these uh, battles. They're going to be stronger, or they're going to be um, weaker, but with abilities. Like this little guy here. He's only got three strength, but he's got 28 health. At the end of a turn, if he's not in the lead, attacks a random opponent once. So we, if we don't ever use this guy in a battle, or if he doesn't end sorry, as the lead in battle, he will randomly attack with three, which is pretty cool. Um, but he's only got three health. Uh, sorry, he's, he's only got three attack. And his health is 28, which is decent. But this might be, uh, this might be really good to have because he's always going to attack for three if we don't use him. Uh... So, what we're going to do, um, he's still going to be there, but not at that shrine. He'll be at another shrine. Okay, so if we want to have a think about it, um, we go to the chim this Chimera Shrine here. These are all scattered around. All these worlds are different anyway, guys. So, we're going to unlock another one. Hopefully, this is going to be a better one, like a, a stronger one. So, it's a 20 with a 4 strength. No more opponent dice. Attacks the opposing leader. So... If we use all of the opponent's dice, uh, some of those fights they had two dices, 
uh, die, die or dice, I don't know, I kept saying it on a YouTube video. Uh, if they use all their dice, uh, their rotation, their attack, then this guy will attack them. Which I kind of... Mm. He's stronger by four, by one, but he has, he has less health. So I'm kind of stuck. What should we do? What should we do? Should we put Carrasco? Should we put him in? Let's put him in because he's always going to attack. But it, no, he's only going to attack once, isn't he? He's only going to attack once. He's going to attack. This guy will attack every round. I think we should put him in. Let's put him in here. Okay. I also need to, for the strat, I also need to um, sort this out. So if we go into here and make this guy the leader, now it should work. Okay, he's only got eight health, which means we need to heal somewhere. Uh, we've got a bonfire, but again, I want to keep that for, um, I want to keep that for uh, the boss, the boss. Okay, so we've got a travel bag. This is what we got in the tent. This means we get an extra slot. We get an extra slot, which means you can put more equipment on him. Um, okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to equip this to your man here, because if he uses his reckless attack, he gets incapacitated. But this self-purifies uh, once per turn. This isn't chaos. So you can move this to anything else. But this... It won't let you move. It won't let you move anywhere because it's a chaos thing. Okay. Right. Okay. So they didn't heal there. Let's try the this one here. We can either get buffs or uh, healing thing. Okay. So grants one intelligence to a chimera of your choice. So some of these chimeras are going to have intelligence. Your man at the bottom here has got intelligence. That's the yellow. So we're going to give it him. So now he's got five intelligence. Okay. And this guy here grants one strength to the Chimera of your choice. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on this guy here. Because this guy is an absolute legend. Um, we've, now he's got seven strength. Okay, we didn't heal. We didn't heal, guys. So, we're going to go into a battle. Uh, which will unlock... Basically, you know what a map's like. So, he's going to unlock these two. Once we, once we clear this battle, we're going to unlock these two. But, if we get stuck... We've got the chip at the top that gives us 50% of max health. Okay, so this chip up here heals 50% of max health to the the whole team. Okay, so that will heal us. They've only got four strength. We're playing it tactically. Right, we've got eight here. We've got uh, we've got uh, nine here as well. So they've only got four strength. So we can take some hits. Okay, before we need to use that heal. Okay, so we're going to rotate this guy out. Which means this guy gets a buff. Now he's a 9. But um, what we need to do is... We can attack this guy here. Okay. Now this is the last. So he's got two dice. He can't use the one because it's idle. Yep. So if he uses this, now they have no more dice. So he attacks again. Which is why I chose this one over the other guy. Um... Might as well just idle. Idle's just for the sake of it. Uh, okay, so this guy, we're going to rotate him out again. Because... Let's get a hit. And now, they've got no more dice if we do this. Make sure you do that so it goes like the, the dot, dot, dot. The lined out of it, okay? Right, okay. Now hit him again. This guy could take one more hit. We lose one gold every single time. So we start, we get extra 10 gold, but then we lose one gold uh, every round. Um, so basically, you gain, you gain a load of gold as long as you don't go 10 rounds, which is very rare. Okay, so we're going to hit this guy. Yeah, we're going to hit this guy anyway. Okay. But he doesn't hit me back. There we go. And he's dead. I was going um, to use that dice, but it was that meant, that meant he hit me. Right. Right, how are we doing? If we go dice folk on uh, on Twitch, guys, how many people are how many people are on dice folk? 
Let's have a look. Yes. We've got all the viewerships. Look at that. Dice folk. Go on. Give it a follow as well. Okay, so a Dice Smith is also like a shop. There are shops in this game, but a Dice Smith is also a shop. Okay, but you get different items from this. Okay, this is why we're collecting gold. Okay, so the chips go at the top. Okay, I cannot stress how important these yellow dice are. You can use them once in a battle and it gives you an extra dice. Use these for boss battles. Okay, so we'll get this dice. We won't use it until we go into the boss battle. Then we get four um, attempts. Okay, these things here, these are to go on the faces of the die. Okay, so we've got another rotation we want. Uh, if we want a um, uh, a, rot uh, a random rotation there. we got uh, target any Chimera leader. So we can have another attack. Because we've got loads of idols. So we want to get rid of the idols. So we can have an attack on there. Uh, we've also got a mirror. Is why we've got two mirrors here. So this mirrors the previous action. So if we used an ability or an attack, we can get um, another attack out of it. Okay. I, uh, well, we've got enough for... We've got enough for both. But what we want to do is get rid of these idols. Okay, so we're going to attack with this lot here. This dice is an attacking dice. Um, we can get rid of these. Okay. But we could also put them on these as well if you're not bothered about the random rotations. Uh, which means if you get all three, you've got three attacks. So it's also another thing to uh, to think about. Uh, mirrors, mirrors are good. I would say the... We'll put another mirror on here. And I'll put I'll get rid of random. Okay. Because we could use a uh, we could use an attack and then we could mirror it and then we could attack again. So that's three there. Thought he didn't do weekends. It's a special one, man. It's a special one. I said yesterday. This is uh this is something something special for you guys. Uh I don't I don't do weekends, but this is a um uh this is a special one. Okay, so we've used all our coins there. And we've kind of leveled up our dice. The more attacks you can do, the quicker you can uh, defeat these enemies. Okay, we've got a shrine chest as well. So we've got five gold here. Revives and or lightly heals the chimera of your choice. And then we've got lightly heals the whole team. So we'll heal the whole team. And then we will use this on our leader here. Okay. So now we don't need to use that chip. Okay, so if we do this battle here, this is going to unlock what's next. Sorry for sniffing. Welcome in, Atkins, as well. Welcome in, dude. Much love to you, man. I appreciate you. So there's only one battle here. Now, if we were to use this up here, we would have four dice. Uh, but for this battle, we don't need four dice. Okay, so random rotation gives him a buff. There's the buff again. Uh, reckless attack, so we're incapacitated. Clash attack. He's killed himself. He's killed himself before we can get the other ability off. So we've got two uh, chimeras here with abilities. Inflicts an amount of burn equal to ally strength. So we will use this as a as a chip in a battle. Only one battle, and we can equip it to someone who has the highest strength, and that inflicts burn to the uh, the opposing leader. Okay, so that's good. Is there no shop on this then? Okay, here's the boss. Oh, this is a shop. Uh, Black Market is called. Cool. Okay, here's the boss fight. Um, right, so we can go to... The, I'll go to the elite battle. Let's check the shop out. Let's check the shop out first. Again, we're going to do one run and then we're going to play some Mario Kart. Okay, guys? We will play Mario Kart. So stick around for some Mario Kart. They've got different items to what we had in the, uh, the Dice Smith. So this one here... Target a KO'd uh, ally Chimera. Revives it in full. Obviously, for, for four for four gold. Absolute steal. Uh, we can have another dice as well. So, in the boss battle, we can have five dice. Um, I cannot tell you how important that is. Uh, incapacitated gains uh, plus 12 strength for the rest of the turn. Um, okay, so... If you played this smart, what you could have is... You can have a reckless attack, which incapacitates yourself... The equipment will clear the incapacitate, um, but this item here will give you plus 12 strength because you were incapacitated. But it's a curse item. Okay, these are all curse items. 
we can't we can't do that just yet. Uh, plus 18 max health, but it inflicts sleep on itself, and it must be attacked to be woken up. Uh, suffering from debuffs increase the amount of damage dealt by 50% when attacking. Um, so that's when you get debuffs. Uh, I don't think we need any of these. I mean, this this would be great, but I'm going to grab the dice. Okay, but we need one extra gold. Okay. I think we're going to be comfortable if we go into the boss battle. But I think we should do the elite battle. Let's do the elite battle, guys. Early one for you today. I oh, know, Grant. I oh, know, man. Welcome in. Good morning. I wanted to get an early one in, play some games with you guys. So I've got the rest of the day to make my videos. I've got an unboxing video. I've got a... Um, um, Another video on Shin Megami Tensei 5. And also, I was playing it last night, man. I'm so, I'm so addicted to that as well. Um, what My advice, guys, just quickly, just quickly. If you're playing a rotation of games, if you're a, a content creator and streamer like me, um, where you have a bunch of games that you want to review and you've got them, uh, I've got a lot on your plate, then schedule a time that you're going to play them especially when you've got a full-time job. Schedule a time when you're going to play them and also schedule a, an amount of time that you play it for as well. So I've got Octopath Traveler I'm playing for Square Enix. I've got Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance for uh, Hello Guillotine and Sega. Um, I'm playing that for them. Obviously playing uh, Dice Folk here for Good Shepherd Entertainment. Um, so I'm kind of like thinking I can do all this as long as I don't make myself go i need to play this for 10 hours uh if, if i split it down if it's like split that i don't know split that eight hours down uh into different games uh massively helps massively helps um and i also got monster Hunter stories for capcom as well so that's um that is how that is how i get all this stuff done i got a lot of stuff uh i got stuff uh immortals of Adium to do for ea i heard you yesterday i heard you yesterday i never finished it i never finished it man thank you for the stretch as well thank you for the stretch should we do the stretch? Oh, so underrated, isn't it? I don't even think about stretching until you do it. Thanks, GB. Okay, so we've got a range attack, but what we want to do is rotate this guy out. We also want to rotate... We want to use all their stuff here, okay, guys? So either way, um, this guy's going to attack, but he's got 40 health, so we might as well have this guy attack. They have no more dice to use, so he's going to attack there. Uh, your man here. I should have attacked before I used all their dice. To be fair, that was a that was a stupid move. Okay, we just need to make sure our main guy. Now we've got the magnifying glass. Okay, so we can have an attack. We can't rotate him out though. That's the thing. We can't rotate this guy out. Um, what we can do is we can keep him. Let's just say that's a six and that's a six. Okay. Um, attack this guy. Then we use the mirror to attack him again. Um, we're obviously going to use this here. He's got okay, so he's got no more opponent dice. So we, we just use that. Uh, we're going to rotate this guy out so he gets hit. So I need to be I need to be smarter then because I forgot that he's got the same monster as we have. Okay. So we rotate this guy out. He gets a buff. Um, if we were to mirror it, that would mirror, not the buff, but the rotation that we just used. Okay. Okay, rotate this guy out. Let this guy hit me. Now they've got no dice. Now we hit him. Okay, he's incapacitated. We're not going to, because he's incapacitated for this turn, we're not going to use it, because then this uh, this enemy was going to hit us. Okay? Okay, now he's not incapacitated. Villa, guess what? How many, how many followers, Grant? How many followers? There's no point rotating this guy out, because um, we're only going to put the other guy in. So what we're going to do, I mean, he is six. He's going to get an extra two. We're going to get an extra two on him. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, let's give him a shield. An attack. Now, we tried to hit us because we used all our dice. Um, 
but we have the shield on. Okay, so he's going to random taunt, which means now we hit him. Now he's on 30. Remember, guys, this is an elite battle, so he's got more strength. So there's one person with more strength than everyone else. Um, okay, so we're going to random rotation. I want to hit him. I want him to a random rotation. I want him to a random taunt. So we hit him again. Okay. We could hit him. But we're going to get hit as well. We're going to get hit. Do we take the hit? We may as well. Oh, it was a taunt. It's their taunt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. I keep thinking it's mine. Okay, it's theirs. It's theirs. So it's any... So not just me. It's anyone. Anyone... We mirror anyone's uh, a last roll, okay? I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. In the words of Hagrid, attack. And then we'll attack again, okay? If we don't use idle, their ability won't work, okay? So if we do that, now he's got no more dice. We've got three attacks in one go there. 709. So you were 705 yesterday, weren't you? You get your first Twitch payout on Monday. Don't you double check, Grant? Double check. You might, you should have got that on yesterday. Double check because you, you should have got it on yesterday. Yeah, Carlenzo, welcome in, man. Welcome in. I want to thank you, Carlenzo, for giving me uh, the newfound love of Final Fantasy XIV. Thank you so much, man. I'm on Stormblood uh, one point three. One point three it is. So I'm nearing the end of the that kind of a little bit that short story in Stormblood. Uh, but I'm on the last bit. I think I'm on the last bit of Alexander. So I'm doing the Alexander. The fist, the heart, the eyes or whatever. Like I'm doing all the Alexander things. It's so cool, man. It's so cool. Okay, cheese platter. Once per turn, any damage received origin uh, originated from an ally. Heals for... S Once per turn, any time damage received originated from any ally... Heals by six. Does that mean when we're doing a clash? That must be when we're doing a clash because we're receiving a damage from ourselves. Okay. Uh, lead of attacks, 100% of damage dealt. Misses if enemy has unused dice. Okay. This is an action. Okay. We'll have that. We're going to stick this on. Uh, we're going to stick it on an idol. Okay. We've got two of these. We stick one on idle, and then we'll stick one on random rotation. Okay? So now we've got double things here. Okay. That's fine. Now we've got to the point where we've, um, we have to use all these gold. Well, we don't have to use it. We can carry it on for the next board. But we've got the, we've got the heals. And then we've got the black market before we go into a boss fight. Okay? Anyone notice the music, by the way? Basically, the bank is holding a payment until Monday for security reasons. Oh, okay. Is this the first payout? Is your first payout, Grant? We're going to grab that. So we can only have five things at the top here. So there's no point grabbing another chip because it will say, can't carry any more tokens. Um, okay. So that's what we've got there. I don't know how I feel about these... Um, uh, the cursed items there. Let's see what the dice smith has. Before we go into this boss battle. You see how you can get carried away? Look, we've almost been an hour now. <laughs> okay, we've got a random rot we got a rotation here, which we just got rid of. So there's no point really here. Attacks all opponents. Now that would have been a decent one. Uh, that's my fault for not looking. Enemy team rotates in the de desired direction. Yeah, that would have been a good one to have. But we've got what we've we've got what we need there. This is what we need for the boss battle, okay guys? So let's come uh, let's come out. We'll save the 18 gold for the uh, the next map then. Uh, we go to the bonfire. Now, I use this for healing, but there are extra other options as well. So revives and strongly heals all chimeras. Um, slightly increases the random stat of every chimera, so we could get extra health, uh, HP, extra strength, intelligence. Um, but it's random, okay? And uh, plus one equipment slot to the Chimera of your choice. So we can give these extra equipment slots as well. We're going into a boss battle, so we want to strongly heal. That's what we want. That's why we save this until the very last uh, point, okay? So he's strongly healed. We've still got a little bit there for, for the bottom one here. Okay, so I'm happy with what we've got here. We've got 14 gold. We're going to go into a boss battle. 
Uh, we may as well equip this just to someone. This guy here. Let's let's give it to him here. Um, right, let's not give it him because he's going to be on rotation. Yeah, happy with that. Okay, so we got we got we got three dice to go into this match. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's your first payment. That's awesome, man. GG's, Grant. GG's. Okay. I didn't even check the sound. I guess I guess you can hear the game, can't you? You can hear the game, yeah. Okay, right. We're going into the boss battle then, guys. Here we go. We've cleared all the map. We've got all the gold. Um, and we have um, opened the two shrines. And new monsters. I've not had them before. So, But we've got one in our team. So this is the boss battle. There's going to be a big one here, and then he's going to have some little ones here. So this Strizzly and these Chisley, or they're Chisley. Okay, so the boss has its own dice as well, okay? Die, dice. <laughs> um, if we... Our goal is to kill the boss. We don't have to kill everyone, so we don't have to get rid of the Chisley, the, the, the Lugano... We don't have to get rid of them. We just have to focus on the boss. So if we focus on the boss, then we can get uh, get the win. So just think about that because that will um, that will help. I'm trying to think. I want to rotate him, but then also I want to rotate. We get another rotation in there. So that mirrors us. Okay. So he got the buff. That's what we want. Uh, this enemy here. Let's get it on this guy. Okay, but we want to use all their dice. So the boss also gets a random action. So he's rotated. They've got no... Okay, they got hit then. But he's missed because he's incapacitated. That's the thing. Do you remember when we played card and I was level 100? How, what level are you now, dude? Um, the attack team randomly rotates. Okay. Attack inflicts two bleed on the target. I've um, I've done something wrong here, guys. We're not going to end our we're not going to end our turn yet because I was meant to use this. Okay. And I was meant to use this. Okay. So now we've got. You can see here. We've got five dice for this battle. Okay. From the very start, we got five dice. Okay. So we can inflict bleed. Um, we can't rotate. Let's just do bleed anyway. So now he's got 18 bleed. Your man's going to die. He's, he's going to die off the bat here. We need to get rid of him. So he's going to rotate left. So we're still not going to get... We're still not going to get the guy. We need, we need him in. Because he's rotated, he's got a little bit of blood on him. Um, um, okay. So we kind of want the bleed on this next guy here. Bulk. And then we'll mirror it. Uh, if we press X, we can see what it does here. Inflicts entangle on the opposing leader. An effective karma misses its next rotation. Okay, so... We're going to bleed him anyway. So he's going to die. Range enemy attack. I need someone to take this hit. Same with this guy. Okay. Now we're going to attack. No more dice. He's dead. Chisley's in. He's dead because he's got bleed. We didn't need to kill them, but we couldn't rotate him in. Okay. We're going to use this anyway. Just for the sake of it. He can't rotate out anyway. Uh, 238. Oh, GG's, Grant. GG's, man. Okay, so we've got inflicts a random debuff on the opposing leader or gains a random buff. Okay, so we're going to do that. Burn. Confusion. Now we can attack him. Uh, mirror the attack. Um, random. This is going to be random. He can't rotate out. He can't rotate out. Um... Let's see what the boss could do here. He's only got four attack as well. So we're kind of safe. And we've just hit him there. We're going to rotate this guy out. Minus one on rotation there. Right, here we go. He can't rotate. We're going to put him as idle. Um, 
Random debuff. Equal to opponent's strength. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to increase his strength. We're going to buff his strength. Then we're going to confuse him to 11. We're going to hit him. 21. Look at that. That's going to miss. And then we're going to smack him again. Okay. So I feel like we don't need to use the chips. Because we've got the extra two dice, haven't we? We've got the extra two dice. Uh, so these have come in massively clutch here, haven't they? They've come in clutch. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do this again. Buff, mirror. We're gonna confuse him. We're gonna bleed him. Look at that damage, man. We're gonna rotate him. We're gonna idle him. Uh, we could range him. He's gonna hit us, but then we're gonna hit him back. He had no chance. He had no chance with that buff. 11 strength, and then we had a bleed on him and everything. There we go. Equipment choice. Here we go. So, GG's. We won the boss fight. On spawn, Carmera lightly heals itself. That's pretty decent. Um, on spawn. Oh, that's, that's the same thing. Revive strongly heals. Now, I used this on one of my playthroughs, and I, I, I think it means when we revive the Chimera, it strongly heals. Um, either everyone... Or just heals that person because you don't you get don't get full health when you revive. Um, so Chimera lightly heals itself is quite it's pretty that's pretty decent because it's not cursed. We can actually swap this over to different ones who needs healing. Uh, if not in the lead, plus ten strength for the rest of the turn. So this will be good for. No worries, Geeky. No worries, man. Are you fancy to play some Mario Kart a bit as well? Um, okay, so this will be good for anyone who. Um, Attacks if they're not in the lead. If they're not in the lead and they attack, they uh, this would this would be this would be good. Um, let me go over to this guy here. Attacks, attacks the opposing leader. So he's going to attack if he's not in the lead. So this would be really good for him. Uh, grants five strength. Okay, so that would be really good for him. But I'm kind of lightly heals itself. Is is kind of like uh, that's pretty decent. So as long as he's not in the lead for the rest of the turn, that is pretty decent. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with that because I'm gonna regret I'm gonna regret that. Okay, so that's one map done. Maybe we only need to do three. These are gonna be a lot stronger now, guys. So we've got a different map here. We've got this little Jawa looking guy, the Traveller. Uh, let's equip that here. Okay, so if he's not in the lead. And he um, and then he attacks. He's going to get a plus ten strength for the rest of that turn, which that's that's going to be priceless, man. It's going to be priceless. Fancy, give me a lift, brother. <laughs> to the shop. Uh, pile of gold. Just exactly what it says on the tin. That is, we've got some gold there. We've unlocked a Chimera shrine as well. Um, okay, so. Right, okay. I'm oh, sorry. Unequip. Unequip. Okay. This is just in case we get a Chimera that we actually want to keep. Um, I think it unequips the equipment anyway, but I, I always do this anyway. It's thunder and I'm scared. <laughs> oh, here he is. Attacks the opposing leader once when he's attacked. Look at the beat. Look at this. Look at him. Absolute stallion. So we've got a shark. Um, I like what we've got here, though. I do like what we've got. <laughs> because this guy here could get the extra buff. I like what we got. So we're not going to not gonna recruit him. We won't recruit him. Let's make sure I put the extra buff on. Ooh. Okay, guys. I'm trying to remember the mute buttons there as well. Good luck, Geeky. Let me know when you're back home, dude. Let me know when you're back home. Okay, so we've got a battle here. Let's go to the Stone Hand. See what the Stone Hand does. Uh, okay, so we've got some more cursed items here. Gains between 0 and 8 strength at random. That's on equip, though. So it doesn't change. You can only equip it once, obviously, because it's cursed. 
but once you equip it, it's a stat boost for strength, uh, a 0 to 8. Uh, on equip revives uh, and or fully heals the whole team. That's only on equip though. Um, on equip, the next Chimera to appear in the shrine will be iridescent. So that's going to be a good chance to get a decent, decent Chimera. Which is what we need. We need these Chimeras. Uh, I tell you what, we could use it. Because it's the next one, isn't it? It's the next one. We'll grab that. And we will use it just before we go to the shrine. Um, okay. This is going to open up two shrines here. Uh, bear with me two seconds, guys. I'm just going to um, I'm just going to go blow my nose. Okay? So I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you with this battle here. Yashi B is cold in the flat. <laughs> okay, right, so you can see these uh, these enemies now are much stronger. Um, we've still got what 20 health each, 16 there. Um, we've got to play this, we've got to play this even more smarter now. So it's a roguelike game, so once you once you fail, die, then you go back to the start again. You lose everything you work for. Okay, so there's a, there's a monster that's asleep at the bottom. He does not attack until he's woken up. Um, that's what it says when you go to sleep. We're going to range attack these people. We're going to get rid of this guy here. Um, we're going to attack him. Um, we should have rotated out, but we didn't. That's on me. I completely forgot. Okay, so... Clash attack. Bang, bang. He's going to kill him. Oh, we got 12. So yeah, I didn't. I made a mistake then. So you make a cost. Any mistake could cost you. He has twelve attack. We should have stuck in the five. This five here. We should have stuck him in because we got hit by twelve then. Now this guy here above me, because of the equipment we've got there, he's not the leader. So he's got a buff. Of a, he's got a buff. Look at that. He's fourteen now. Fourteen. Okay, so, what's Blame do? Removes buff on opposing leader. Miss. Okay. Then we can... I want to... Attack him. We can kill him with the mirror. Okay. He can't rotate out. Uh... Okay, so I want I want to use the rotation, but I don't want to wake up the other guy. Okay, so now we've woken him up because we've hit him. Um, we've hit him twice. That's awesome. We swap him round. So we can't swap him around because of that. Let's get rid of this guy here. Uh, and this again. Oh, is it me? Idiot Villa. Idiot. What? Right. This guy's going to die. That 
That's fine. Okay, this guy's gonna die. Right. There's a reason I've done that, guys. It's because... We're bringing him back. He's back. He's back. Now, this guy's on rotation. We're gonna obviously rotate him out. Give the other guy a buff. Um... He can't rotate out. There's nothing to mirror because he can't he can't rotate either. So we're gonna hit him. Reckless attack. We're gonna clash attack. He had the equipment that purified him as well. So he got incapacitated, but he had the equipment that purified him as well. Okay, so when he when he leaves, he gains plus two intelligence for the rest of the battle. That would be good because your man at the bottom is he's rotating all the time, isn't he? It's for the rest of the battle as well. Okay, what we need to do now though is uh, unequip these. Okay, equip this. Which one are we equipping it to? Rotation one's quite decent though, isn't he? He's quite decent. But, on the grand scheme of things, attacks the opposing leader. On the grand scheme of things, I think the attacking the leader thing is... Uh, we're not really using him, are we? We're not really, we're just using him for rotation. Okay, right, let's, let's use this, equip it to this guy here. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Because we're going to have a higher chance of uh, a decent Chimera now in this shrine. Wow, this Chimera is shining brightly. I've never seen anything like it. Look at him. Attacks the opposing... Uh, attacks. Enter or exit lead. Attacks the opposing leader. Now, bang. That is awesome. Okay, but... We've got another shrine, guys. We've got another shrine. Okay. We're going to see, because we've still got the thing equipped. Once your man's gone, he's gone. Guys, if you just joined us, this is Dice Folk. Thank you to the guys at Good Shepherd Entertainment for giving us a copy of this. We're playing it on Nintendo Switch, which is out on the 20th of June. Uh, it's available on Steam already, uh, but for Nintendo Switch players, we have to wait till the 20th of June. I'm going to give a giveaway for the Nintendo Switch. Um, and also, we are, I'm going to try to source some codes for Steam for you guys. Um, that will be at uh, probably on the 20th of June, to be honest with you. Okay, so this guy, allied strength gain, attacks a random opponent once. I think it's got to be this guy, because he attacks when he is when he turns into the leader and when he leaves as the leader. So we're going to use this guy here. Okay, now it's got rid of that cursed item as well. Okay. Did I refer to it as a chaos item earlier? I think I've... I might have done. Okay. Right, so we've got some stuff here. Gains intelligence. None of them have intelligence. If not in the lead. Okay, this guy here. That's what we want there. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's do some battles then. Uh, should we go see the Jawa? Let's go see the Jawa. Here we go. It's just called the Traveller, but it looks like a Jawa from Star Wars. Okay, hey there, traveller. You have some extra gold. I could use some. Okay, so we give him some gold. Gain max HP increase in item. Uh, equipment, sorry. Or gain healing equipment. What do we think, guys? What do we think? Do we want a max HP increase in equipment? Or do we want gaining healing equipment? So something that heals if we do something. Probably max HP. But that's only going to be for one person. Should we do it? Max HP? Let's go, guys. Let's see what we got. It's a shame we couldn't see what I couldn't see that. Uh, it is plus 13 max HP. Loses one gold up to three times. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can lose some gold. Let's equip him to that because his max HP is lower than everyone else's uh, also let's put that on him 
Okay, we're slowly building everything up. We've got the bonfire there, which we don't want to use yet. Uh, we've got battle down here. Let's check this battle out over here. See how easy it is to get lost in this game, guys. What do you think of it, guys? Anyone interested in picking this up at all? So they've got strength three and four. Okay, he's got a plus. Look at that. Look at that, Amantis. Look at him go. Uh, right, okay. So we haven't got a rotation that does anything now. So we've got a... We can have a buff. Attack him. He's incapacitated. He's been purified. Tell you what, that is absolutely insane. As long as we keep your man, because it's going to rotate, and your Amantis is going to... Uh, Amantis, sorry, is going to come into play. He's going to lose his buff. So if we... Uh, I'll tell you what, if we can mirror that, he's incapacitated. Clash attack, he can't do anything, but we can still hit him. Rotate. Now the Amantis comes in with his 14. GG's, dude, GG's. Now he loses one gold. He, lo he gets hit by three because he's poisoned. Okay, so we've got the same again. If we that, that, buff him. Amartis isn't actually um, able to... Uh, yeah, so he's only get a buff on the start on the first bit there. 16. I don't want him to take the hit. So he's hit himself. GG's. There's the clash attack. <laughs> he's getting absolutely bullied. Oh, man. That's what these, these, uh, these passive effects are going on here. Okay, so... We're going to buff this guy and we're going to smack him. He's dead. He's dead. GG's, guys. GG's. Uh, ends current turn and re-rolls all dice. This is absolutely insane, guys, because what... Because uh, it says re-rolls all dice. You can actually have a... Let's just say we, we had... Like, like we did in that boss fight earlier, we had five dice. We could use all our dice uh, and not use any of theirs. And then we can end the turn and it will re-roll everything and then we will get another five goes again. Um, before they even have a go. So that is absolutely priceless. GG's on that. Lightly heals the whole team. We're happy with that. That's what we need. That's why we always do these battles, guys. Because you get equipment and buffs and everything like that. So we've got a brood tree. This tree gives us um, equipment. Uh, okay, so but this uh, self-inflicts poison fully heals the whole team at the end of battle. The item holder is alive at the end of the battle. It will consume the item and benefit its effects. At the end of the uh, at the end of the turn, it afflicts affected Chimera takes. So we take three damage every single time, every single round. But at the end of the round, it fully heals the whole team. That is a that is a good sacrifice. But they are hitting hard in this round. Uh, grants relentless to all opponents. Relentless uh, an effective Chimera survives one fatal attack and is left with one HP. So when it says consume the item, it means it's going to so one kind of like a one-use item. So once Winter heals everyone, it's going to so yeah, strongly hurts 25% of the house, fully heals at the end of battle. That's at the start of the battle. Maybe grants plus strength forever. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go with this because I think the three. Three poison every turn is going to be a proper hurt. I think this. Um, let's grab this. Because they will get uh, full strength. Max HP would be uh, pretty decent. Uh, unequip. Let's give him the max strength, okay? Right, okay, right, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Okay, what else are we going to unlock? What's up here? Let's look at this battle here. We're kind of at, almost at full strength as well. What time is it? It's almost one o'clock. Sorry, guys. We will play Mario Kart. Trust me, we will play Mario Kart. Please bear with us. Okay, so he's lead. So he hasn't entered lead. If we rotate, 
Ah, we can't rotate yet. Use that, use that. Get rid of those. Um, clash attack. Right, um... trying to think we rotate him out he's going to attack as we there we go as we rotate him out okay so he's he, okay so okay i was under the impression if he was in the lead afterwards he was um he was going to lose his things but he's not He's not in the lead, so uh, he wasn't in the lead when we started. That's what that's what it means. Okay, bang. Okay, he's incapacitated. Which, if we want to use that, we can't hit him back. But he's incapacitated for the rest of the turn. Okay, okay, okay. I thought, yeah, my bad, my bad. I'm still learning the game, guys. I unlocked a gun on COD yesterday, and it just got to max level. Which gun was it, dude? Do you recommend it? Uh, it's random rotation. Then we're going to random rotation. Uh, we're going to clash again. Should kill him. Oh, we should have buffed him. Okay, let's buff him. But he's incapacitated for the rest of the turn, but we've done the turn. We've done the turn. Uh, if we rotate, this guy is going to attack. Uh, let's let's get this out of the way. No more dice. Uh, incapacitated. This guy's going to attack because he's just gone into the lead. Um, can't rotate him in. So they're incapacitated. That's fine. Because he's attacking because he's... There we go. Right, I thought he was incapacitated so he couldn't attack, but he, he could. So there we go. Sorted. So we got plus two strength to everyone. And it's been consumed. Okay, so that's it. So it was a one-off. It's the ball, 27. It's a new assault rifle and it hits hard. we got a hit, uh, hit, hit rate of fire. Has it? That's awesome. Always fine with me. Doesn't matter what the meta is. I'm still crap at it. <laughs> There's a shop here, and we've got 104 coins, guys. 104 coins. You believe it? Everything's a bit more pricier now, though, isn't it? Right. Let's look at what we got here. We got equal. I uh, got bleed. Okay, bleed's good. Uh, target Carmera heals 50% of his max health. That's. So we've got two slots here. The item holder has guard. It attacks the attacked Carmera once. Right, I'm just trying to read this. An affected Chimera does not receive damage from the next attack target to gain it. So if it's got guard and it gets attacked, then we also attack as well afterwards because the guard's going to go once it got attacked. On spawn gains relentless. This is what we had earlier. Okay. Uh, passive plus five strength minus five HP. Yeah, it's a good sacrifice. But we're going to grab the dice. We're going to grab the dice anyway, guys. I'm thinking maybe the extra health. But that's to the team. That's to one person. I think I think that's good. We kind of want equipment. I don't know how we feel about losing five health at this stage in the game. Right, we'll leave that. We'll leave that. Let's just say the fire rate is higher than the damage. <laughs> More firing, more damage. Yeah. Right, let's grab this. Um. It's probably going to elite uh, the boss battle. Boss battle or elite battle? This is why this couldn't be a 30, 30 minute video, guys. Because we're on an hour and almost an hour and a half now. <laughs> right, so this uh, Denderoff is asleep. All right, mirror that because they're not going to do anything anyway. Uh, we don't want... We want this guy in. This guy's an absolute beast, but he's only one strength. What's all that about? Um, right, so we're going to rotate him out so he hits. OK, 
Okay. I want to buff this guy. I'll tell you what, we want to keep him. Yeah, let's keep him. Okay. Uh, clash attack. One. We'll take the ones. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. I said we we're going to keep him in, but he's dead. <laughs> I'm going to rotate this guy. Uh, get rid of the dender off. Rotate him. Because he's asleep. Uh, we're going to reckless attack. Don't know how I feel about that because he's in incapacitated again. He can't. Can't do anything with it. Random. And random. No more dice. Still missed again. We, can't, we couldn't rotate him out. That's the thing. He's been hit. Uh, strong attack. Right, so we want it to have... Leader of attacks, 100% of damage dealt. Buff. Attack. But he's incapacitated. We rotate. He's asleep, so he's not going to attack. He's going to get attacked. Uh, there's no point using it because it's going to miss because it's got damage out. Villa, the Anchorman. Uh, could you all hold down the fort? The sponsors and amazing content. <laughs> the Anchorman. Oh, okay. I was thinking about the film then. I was thinking about the film. <laughs> um, thank you so much, dude. The mods are holding the forts down, though. You guys are absolutely legendary. Thank you so much, mods. Thank you so much. Right, okay. So I've, I've made, made myself bigger here. Okay. Right, he's, a, he's, he's awake now. What I'm going to do, swap him round. Buff your guy here. Um, clash. Use all the dice. He's going to have to attack someone else. No more opponent. But he's incapacitated. Idiot, Villa. Idiot. Right, we're going to use this. It's going to heal everyone. We're getting so much gold because we got the plus 10 gold thing. That's why. Let's give him the guard. We could have rotated then, actually. He's going to attack. We're going to attack. We're going to do that. Then we're going to do that. He's almost dead. I'm looking forward to Wednesday. What's going on Wednesday? What's on Wednesday, Grant? Is that the next England game? We're playing tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah. Let's get rid of him. Get rid of him. See, this is why I love turn-based. <laughs> I got newfound since I'm playing uh, Hades. I've got newfound love for uh, for roguelike games. I want to kind of like not fail. I don't want to fail on purpose. My first stream back after a week break. Oh, go on, Grant. Have you got a time? Have you got a time? Are you going to do it? So the elite battle is here. Um, we've got. Okay, we've got. Um, the health is all good. So the abandoned tent. This is what we've got the equipment for here. The travel bag. Who wants the extra equipment? Hey, let's give it this guy. Give it our main guy. There's going to be a time where we're eventually going to have to get rid of him. We've still got no one with the... Uh... <laughs> Just equip it anyway. He's got no intelligence. A bit like me. Oh, here's Sly. Welcome in, man. Welcome in. It's so close at the top, isn't it? It's so close at the top. How was a uh... happy Saturday morning for you? Guard. Then he's going to get smacked. Bang. Oh, idiot. Oh, we couldn't do anything about that because it's got a guard anyway. Uh, bulk up. Mirror. Hit. It's quite a chunky thing, isn't it? But he's only got... It doesn't. He's not really hitting. He's not really hitting much. There's a lot going on here, guys. A lot of all these abilities here going on. Uh, right, we're going to hit this guy by rotating. 
He's hit him. He's hit him. We were going to use the passability, but we're going to do that. Here we go. Uh, Sly, this is dice vote, by the way, guys. This is um, this is a roguelike game where you can capture monsters called Chimera and also attack turn-based style using dice. Uh, this is from uh, the awesome guys at Good Shepherd Entertainment. Thank you guys so much, man. Grants one strength to the Chimera of your choice. Oh, are we buffing? Are we buffing your man? Let's buff your man here. We're gonna keep this guy. This guy has been—he's been there since the start. We got Dice Smith and we got some debris. The debris is some equipment. Slightly increases one or more multiple random stat. Okay, that is pretty decent. Let's get rid of this. Equip to him. Plus health. Look at that. Now he's cooking. Look at his health. Welcome in everyone. I know this is early for me. I join a day. I don't normally stream in the weekends either, but this is this is awesome. Ah, finally a customer. I'm gonna roll. Remove team buff. We can have the extra dice. Or, guys, we've got one. We've got one. This here means we uh constantly have an extra dice. So we've got three dice at the minute. We can have four. Okay? So Grab this. Grab this. There you go. There's four dice. We're going to automatically have four dice every single every single uh, fight now. It's not going to disappear after this. Uh, thank you so much, Sly. Thank you for the alert, man. Much appreciated. Uh, team rotates in the desired direction. Target any Chimera on the ally side. It attacks the enemy leader. That's pretty cool. Uh, target an ally... It gains plus two strength for the rest of the battle. So strength is pretty decent. Um, well, I'm going to grab this. This this is good. Okay, this is good. So what we want to do, we want to kind of get rid of the idols. Which are these ones here. We want to get rid of the idols. Um, but also, make sure we get, like, abilities as well. So... That's attack. That could be an attack. That's an attack. That's strength. Okay. So let's get rid of this idol here. Because we've got, we've got too many idols here. Okay. We've got 11 left. We can't get anything else. Okay. Okay. How cool. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, we're going to play some Mario Kart in a bit, guys. So get yourself ready for some Mario Kart. There's the boss battle. There's the bonfire. There's the elite. Um, let's jump into the shop. We've got 11. We might have to miss the Elite out for this, to be fair. Just because of where we are health-wise. Um, yes, yeah, these ones again, isn't it? Right, I think we should miss the Elite out. What do you think, guys? Got the Elite battle. Or we could just go fully heal. Let me know in the comments what you think. We are going to... Elite battle. Let's go to the bonfire. Good shout. Good shout. Right. We can have another equipment slot. Or we can rest everyone. Or we can get a stat increase. Let's uh, let's strongly heal everyone. Right. This is going to be tough now, guys. It's going to be tough because of where we are with... Um, our maximum health isn't very high okay guys so this means i'm gonna have to make myself smaller because we are going we're going all in here guys okay um it seems that there's a lot of jabagoras on the way here but is that a bad thing oh does that mean okay i've not seen this before so does that mean what in nine turns they get or is there actually nine? Okay, so we can just keep... We can constantly kill in these. And then there's going to be nine there. Which we don't want to do. We've got four dice, guys. Let's make that six. Okay, so we're going to go to the top here. Use this. Okay. You know what? For this fight, I might move myself up here, you know. Uh, that's five. Okay. Now we're going to use this one here. Six. Now we've got six dice. Okay. Six dice per turn. Uh, we've also got inflicts an amount of burn equal to alloys 
Uh, Alloy leader stats. That's eight. Ends current turn and roll dice. Now, we've got two of these, which means we can use all of our dice, okay? And then uh, re-roll twice before they even hit us. Okay, so bleed. We're going to bleed, okay? That's the enemy. So that's, that's the leader. You fix the amount of strength. So he's got eight. Um, you know what? I'm going to rotate him in because he's the leader. He's going to get hit. It's 14. Okay, we're working smart here. Okay, so he's got 14, which means we're going to burn him for 14. This is every round, guys. Every round. Okay. This boss, 140 health, man. Okay. Right, so we've got support attack. What does that mean? Target any Chimera on the ally side. It attacks the enemy leader. Um, oh, yeah, this is what we've just unlocked. Okay. What we're going to do is it targets the enemy leader. Okay, so get rid of his thing there. Okay. Oh, this is good, guys. This is good. So this is saying his attack goes up to 22. But this one here is 28. Did you go 28? Bang. We can rotate right. We're going to hit him again. Okay. Now, we can't use strong attack. We can't use it. But what we can do here, like he's, he's 76 now. Ends current turn and re-rolls all dice. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to end the turn. Okay. We're not going to use their stuff because he's still the main party leader. Okay. So it's re-rolled everything absolute clutch it's re-rolled everything and they haven't had an attack yet so that is how important that one is there uh freeze inflicts free frozen on opponent an attack against an afflicted chimera is 100 of damage okay so we're going to freeze him so he's, he's he's on fire he's bleeding he's frozen <laughs> poor guy poor guy um okay we can't really well we can we're going to rotate him I wanted to get the armor done in. But, uh, I mean, we can get him in. Yeah, we can get him in. We rotate. There we go. He's in. So he's going to attack on on as he came in. He's got guard, which means... There you go. That stops. We can attack him. Now, we can re-roll everything. Again. But he's only on 26. So we need to kind of gamble... The clash attack would bring him down. Idle. Clash attack. Now, if we use the random taunt, our mantis is going to kill him. Yes. That is just the boss. We only need to beat the boss. We don't have to beat the other guys. How cool was that? That's off. Oh. <laughs> I've been playing this game for quite a, quite a while, guys. Uh, might not quite a while, but like, I've been playing a, a lot, shall I say. And... Um, I've never had that. I've never had that. That was awesome. Um, okay, so we've got an equipment choice here. Uh, Ally KO'd. This item holder strongly heals. So it heals when someone gets knocked out. Unequip, plus four strength. Unequip, minus five strength. Ooh. So you've got to keep it on. But it's not It's not a cursed item. You've got to keep it on. Uh, end of the turn, once per battle, the item holder is automatically KO'd. Then revives and it heals a random amount of HP. What? <laughs> what um okay so we equip it the only way this won't work is if we um trade the chimera in i see the benefit I guess we're gonna have to go with this. This is the uh, the the lesser of everything, isn't it? Okay, here we go, guys. Look at that. Oh, they've leveled up as well. They've got a little extra health. Oh, look at this. This is the third map. 
Oh no, we're going to open some more stuff. I was going to say, I thought this is quite a short map then. Uh, there's a cursed chest here, so we're going to get some more cursed item. Jet blaster, plus four strength. Once per battle, lose four strength for the rest of the battle. Just for the rest of the battle. But he starts off with four, so it's the quicker we... So we get plus four. Second turn, it's now zero, and then it's three, it's minus four. Okay, so as long as we do it within two turns, this benefits us. Uh, during battles, gain, uh, strength gains provide 50% more strength. Okay, so every time we increase strength, it gets 50% more. Oh, you know, that'll be, that, that's pretty good. That would be good. Oh, listen to the music. The emotional music then. Go on, you know, we're in, we're in business now. Come here, I broke free from the stone. Okay, so this is a five attack, but it has strength, sorry, uh, 28 thing. Attacks the same target once again. So this attacks, once it attacks, it attacks again. Okay. Um, we've got another shrine here, so I just want to wait and see what we've got here. Because once you go out of these, you can't go back in again until you go to the next shrine. Give me something. Give me something chunky. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> 44 health, 8 strength. Um, what's this? What's this here? We've not had this on mana. 5 magic, uh, 8 intelligence, 3 equipment slots. This is the man. Yes. That is what we need. We need something. What do we sacrifice though? That's this. These are the these are the conundrums here. Do we sacrifice this because he's quite good at, at the very very start? Um, he attacks the opposing leader when we use all the dice, or he attacks the opposing leader on uh, as he goes into the lead and as he comes out. What do we do? What do we do, guys? This is this is an extra. Oh, which one do we get rid of? We can't get rid of our boy. He's been with us since the start. This Belloid. I think we might just have to take the hit. But this is an extra. This is an extra four every single. But that's if we use all their dice. But I feel like we have to use all of our dice. I think I think we should get rid of this. I think we should. Uh, okay, I think we should recruit this guy and replace this one here. Right, we've kept his equipment as well. You see, there is his equipment stayed with us. Okay, so we want to give him alloy. They want that one because he's got more health than everyone else. So everyone else is more likely to die. Um, on spawn. If not in the lead for the rest of the turn. Okay, so we're going to equip that to this guy, I think. Because we're going to rotate him in. During battle, strength gains provide 50% more strength. I think we should stick that on him. This guy here. Because we're going to rotate him in. He's going to get a strength boost. He's going to get a 50% more strength. Uh, okay, let's just stick that on him just for the sake of it. Oh no, he's got intelligence now, hasn't he? Okay, I feel like we've got a good team here. We've got a good team. Right, let's check out this battle. Yeah, there we go. There we go, guys. There we go, guys. You see how addictive this is and how you can kind of keep going? Uh, I can move my camera down now, guys, because we only have four dice.
We will play Mario Kart. We will play Mario Kart, guys. Okay, so Metro, guys, has been... Uh, oh, he's been... Thorns. On spawn, gain eight thorns. Is that what he's done here? That's not good. Is it? No, that's not good. Um, okay, so this guy is going to... Exit. Oh, exit lead. Okay, so rotating which hits him. Rotate him in. That hits him. We rotate him out. That hits him. Good. They were good. Look at that. We've got a big chunk off him, but they're all like 60, 58, 65. Um, idle. Clash attack. Hit him again. Uh, we don't have the guy, so we don't need to use all the dice. Uh, but that's their main one, so they've used it. Great. I didn't want to get the 10 in. Uh, random rotation. Oh, I was open. He's a six. We rotate him out. Strong attack missed. Why did that miss? I don't like the thorns. I didn't see that bit. I didn't see that bit. There's a little joker. Random taunt. focus okay right so we'll rotate this guy in he's gonna hit but he's not hitting him okay that's fine that's fine okay clash we're good Dillikins, welcome in man thank you so much for the lurk I appreciate that man we're gonna rotate this guy out which means he's gonna hit um, this guy's gonna attack and then again He's dead. Then we're going to rotate this guy in. And hit him. This guy is going to attack. He's going to get hit back. Uh, mirror it again. Yeah, that gets rid of him. Bang. Okay. But our big boy here. Strong attack. Okay, so this attacks when he gets hit. Okay. Right, that's. I'm still learning the game, guys. This is Dice Folk, by the way, Dillikins. This is Dice Folk. Uh, we're going to rotate. Yeah, we'll rotate just to... Just give him some uh, give him some strength. Uh, random. He's hit me there. But that hit the, uh, that hit the, the guard. We've hit him back. We just can't get back in, can we? Hit him again. Um, I guess we're just going to freeze this guy. Bang! So he took everything. He's a proper tank. Okay, we lost three gold there. That doesn't matter. See, the music goes, like, fades in and out, in and out. Right, we've got a traveller. He's going to want some gold. Traveler one. Give eight gold, gain damage dealing equipment, gain strength increase in equipment. Uh, I think we should go strength. 
What is that? A club? We just get Lucille. Stat that is not found on all chimeras. It represents the blinking value within a chimera's effect. Okay, that's intelligence. On spawn. Okay, so. When he's KO'd, exit lead gains intelligence. Incapacitate once per turn. Okay. Right, okay. This is what I was looking for, but it was gone by the time I looked for it. Okay, so he is the lead, so we need to make sure he's not the lead. Okay? That is why he didn't get his buff. I was really confused then. Okay, then we've also got a re-roll here. I think I need to put this on him for here. He's going to get KO'd. We need to make sure he doesn't get KO'd. Okay, let's look at the, the thrift shop. I've not seen one of these before. Well, we connect. We can get another dice. Uh, exit lead inflicts three damage. Uh, deals damage equal to the item holder's max HP to the opposing leader. Oh, when he's KO'd, when he's knocked out. Once per battle, inflicts blind on all opponents. That's good. That's good because blind, obviously, if you know anything about blind, you drop this. Ah, thanks, Lady Dale. Thank you so much. Welcome in and thank you for the follow as well. How are you doing? How was your Saturday morning? Uh, it's afternoon now, isn't it? It's afternoon. Sorry, we've been on this for a while. <laughs> okay, so this breaks if the guy gets knocked out, if the Chimera gets knocked out, which is the monster. Uh, but it inflicts blind, which means people are going to, like, basically, uh, next attack must, um, well, basically misses, but they must try to attack in order to end the condition. So you can't heal yourself. Um, that's pretty good. But that's only when he's attacked, okay? It fully heals. That's that. I mean, man, we've got, we've got some good stuff here. I mean, we can sacrifice another die. I think we should go with these, you know. 13. It fully heals. The next one should be we should aim it for 20, uh, 20 gold. I'm okay, thank you. Hope you're having fun. Yeah, I am. I am honestly loving the game. Loving the game. Uh, we're meant to play some games and then, uh, well, play play run through of this and then play some Mario Kart. But we're on the third, we're on the third map now, which is uh, which is pretty cool. We played. We've had some decent plays. Um, yeah, dice folk. Thank you so much, uh, Good Shepherd Entertainment. You. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't wait for you guys to try this yourself. So I'm going to give this away myself personally on the Nintendo Switch. It's only ten pounds now to pre-order it uh, for the 20th of June. Um, I'm going to personally buy it for someone. We're going to do it on release day, 20th of June, the day before Elden Ring expansion comes out. Uh, I'm going to buy it, one of you guys. We'll do a giveaway. Okay. I think for this, let's get rid of that. And plus one strength and plus one intelligence see that's that's pretty decent that is uh this guy's gonna get knocked out i think i think he's gonna take a hit oh we could uh, actually we could we could heal it we could heal it before he dies we could heal it uh love putting faces to the nominees <laughs> thank you so much i still need to do that video apologies apologies uh lady Dell. Um, and again, I still don't know who nominated me. I still don't know who nominated me in the community, but thank you guys so much. Um, I appreciate you jumping in. Thank you so much. Uh, Lady Doll, do I follow you? Follow you on Twitter, obviously. There you go. You've got my, you've got my follow there. I'm just here to say hi. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. Have you played, uh, have you played, uh, Dice Folk at all? This is on Nintendo Switch. It comes out on the 20th of June. It's already on Steam, so we're going to give a, a giveaway code on Steam. Um, at some point next week, but uh, I'm going to do it personally myself on Nintendo Switch because I want everyone to play this game. Um, okay, so I can give an extra strength to someone, but 
What do I want to sacrifice? Maybe that. Once per turn, we he's incapacitated, so he can't use he can't use uh, reckless, can he? Okay, I think I think we're good here. I think we're good. We need to open this up to see what we've got here. Uh, I've got a heal. I've got two heals. Uh, we've got a re-roll as well. We've got a re-roll. Oh, look at the state of that. Oh, my God. 55, 60s, 4s, and 60s. Yeah, we're going to get absolutely battered. Here. Okay, so... There you go. He is... He's now a lead. Okay, we're going to rotate him in for his 23. Target any Chimera on the ally side. It attacks the enemy leader. So we can kill this guy. Remove all leaders debuffs. Uh, what I'm going to do is guard him. We need this guy because he's going to lose his things. We're going to have this guy attack. Reckless attack. Incapacitated. But that's the end of his turn anyway. Um, debuff. And he's going to attack, but he's got guard. Okay. Thank you, Liv. I haven't... It looks cute, to be honest. I like the art style. Same here, man. Same here. This is a... This is a, this is a game that we've been gifted, so... Uh, I can't get off it. I can't get off it. I've got so many games on rotation to review. And uh, this is awesome. Um, okay, so... Strong attack. Uh, this means when he takes hits... He is... Um, when he takes damage, he's going to deal that damage back to them. Okay, we're going to shield him, but then rotate him. Uh, and then clash this guy here. This guy's got guard. Oof. But we can't rotate him either. Okay, we're going to strong attack him anyway. Missed. I was going to miss for this turn anyway. Yeah, because he's incapacitated. Okay. When we get to the dregs, guys, we're going to be... Uh, it's going to be interesting. Okay, let's rotate this guy out. He's back in again. We're going to... Uh, hit this guy. Let's hit him back. We're going to rotate him so he attacks. This guy's going to attack. That's the end of everyone's turn. That's the end of my turn. Okay. We're so close to being died. Uh, died? To being dead. Uh, need to feed my mini moo. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you so much. Thank you for jumping in. Your mini moo. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Much love to your lady doll. Guys, if you don't follow Lady Doll, please give her a follow. Um, we've been nominated for an award, so uh, I'll go into more detail of that next week. But this weekend, I'm gonna do, I'll do my video for you. I'll do my video for you. Okay, so we're going to reckless attack, but he's going to incapacitate himself. These are... Uh, I really, really wanted to keep these for the next boss fight. So he's incapacitated again. Uh, rotate left. So he's going to get your man back in. Random. So he's rotated. We're going to rotate him again. He's double guard. Oh, we should have given him guard before we rotated out. Idiot Villa. What an idiot. Guard. Okay. Then we use guard. Yep. Then we attack. We can't attack because he is incapacitated. There we go. Everyone calls him anyway. Have a same as your daughter. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> I thought you lived on a farm. <laughs> I thought you lived on a farm, but it was like a... Um, you had to go feed the cow. Uh, clash attack. Gets rid of my thing. He hits. Random. Blind. He's taken. He's taken the hits. That's the thing. That's 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 what I want him to do. Uh, we have to rotate them. But do we want a mirror that rotates? Right, let's get rid of his guard. Oh, we, I can't get Villa. Stop doing it. Stop doing that. We should have rotated it. Free rotation. Okay, we might as well hit him to incapacitate and to get rid of him. Incapacitate him. Free rotation. 
where we get the bird back in. Get the bird back in. Attack. Auto attacks. Okay. We're going to rotate him out. So he attacks. Random. He's rotated. He's probably going to bring back in again. Um, okay. At the end of his turn, he's literally going to do that. Okay. This is... Uh, Which way are we going? Right, your man's coming back in. I'll tell you what, he's proper tanky. This guy is tanking up. Uh, I want to see what his skill is. New leader gains guard. Okay, so new leader. Let's get him back in. Let's do let's do everything first. Because he might rotate back in. There we go. Okay. So if we get rid of that, we're gonna bulk him up. Reckless attack. Absolutely meant nothing. I'm going to rotate him because he's uh, he's now on five. I could heal him. We can only heal it in battle, guys. But I'm going to try and see if we can get any Chimera attacks the leader. Okay. But we can't buff. Right. Get a free attack in. Get another attack in. Use this for this guy to attack. Use the mirror for this guy to attack. There we go. Okay, so he's on 14 now. Use this, and then we'll rotate. Oh, no. Now he's, yeah, now he's guard. Okay. Oh, you have to really think about this game, man. <laughs> if I kept him in... He's on guard. Random. He's dead. But your man's got health now because he's got an ability. He's got the equipment where he gets healed when someone dies. Random. He's being shot. Okay. If we're doing that, we're going to bulk him up. Strong attack. Now he's in. But he doesn't get the shield now because the other guys are buffed. Okay. We haven't got anything to revive. Okay. I think we can do this. I think we do this. We've sacrificed your man though. Right. Okay. thought my mic wasn't working then. I was worried. I was, how long have I not been talking? Uh, we've got two idols, which is the shame. Hit him with this. I think what we can hope for is him doing a clash. Can he clash? He's missing. We're going to miss. Are we rotated? Right, we've, we've defeated them. We've defeated them. We've ended up with... Uh, we're getting some gold during the, the, the fight anyway. We've lost two golds. Uh, this... Lightly heals the Chimera of your choice. Uh, which one are we going for? This guy, because he's got more. He's got more uh, max health. He's got more max health. Um, okay, we've hit two hours. We've hit two hours, but I think we're near. We're near in the end, guys. What's this wandering hero? Who's this guy? Uh, we've... I don't want to go into the wandering hero to find like it's a fight, because <laughs> we ain't ready. Uh, okay, we need. We need another. We need another five. Okay. Let's have a look. See what the wandering hero is. Please don't be a fight. Please don't be a fight. I don't want it to be a fight. Give a piece of equipment and a random piece. Give a piece of equipment and receive a random piece of equipment. Give a piece of equipment and receive a random amount of gold. Oh, that would be... Gold would be good. I want to kind of get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. But we could gamble on the gold. 
Because we need the gold. We've got 20 gold. Now we can get the extra dice. Beautiful. I think we're going to need this dice for the... Uh, for the next battle. Because we've only got two... We've only got two Chimeras. Let's jump into this battle here. We need to unlock the bush or the bonfire. That's what we need. We need to go as far as we can. There's been no shrine though. What are their abilities? Nothing. Enter lead. If health is not full, gains focus. Okay, so we don't want to... Guard. Keep the guard up. Smack him. Reckless. Reckless is fine because we've run out of attacks. Uh, random. He's rotating. Rotating. Clash attack. Guarded, but we're going to hit him. But we can't hit him. He's really incapacitated. Okay. 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 I'm just checking the times, guys, because I don't want to. I don't want you guys to miss Mario Kart because we are going to play Mario Kart. Do not worry about that. Right. So we smacked him for a couple there. Clash attack. Oh, we're incapacitated. I should have clash attacked before we did that. Uh, move to six. Six instead of a ten. Just taking it like a champ, isn't it? Free rotation. Clash attack. Yeah, because that's their attack. That's fine. I know we lost a bit of a, a, a chunk there. Could rotate him out. Yeah, let's rotate him out. Okay. You hit him. Uh, reckless attack. Freeze him. I'm not too sure on the old freezing business. If I froze him before I attacked, I don't know how that would have worked. Um, okay. Uh, clash attack? Yeah, we can still hit him. Should have kept the guard up. Should have had guard. Okay. Oh, guys. Guys, we're getting down right down to the nitty gritty here. He's still guarded. Yep. Right, let's absolutely hammer him. This guy. We're going to mirror it. This guy. Bang. Okay, we've got some more gold. What have we unlocked? I need some health. I need a revive. I need a revival do because then we can use the um, the chip. That's oh, the boss battle. As if I ended up next to the boss battle. Right, what are we doing here? Let's give it your, let's give it your man here. We've got 32. Anything in here that we can grab? We can go straight to the boss battle. Oh, we've got another dice. Forgot about that. Oh, damn. Well, we can't officially get a full die. We might as well get this because we're going to use it for the boss battle anyway. Oh, guys, we're so close. We're so close, but we've got a man down. That's the problem. Like that. I reckon that there is probably a healing thing. So we've got six dice. We've got a full, a full heal. And then we've got a re-roll. Crit to him. You know what? He's got intelligence, isn't he? He's got intelligence. So let's, let's have him there. Okay. Oh, 
Do we go for... Guys, guys, do we go for the other battle? And go all in? Or do we fight this guy? Because I feel like we were lucky. Six, nine... Let's go, let's, let, guys, let's go in. Let's go for the boss battle, guys. We're going into the boss battle, okay? Because we can only use these healing items during a fight. So I need to heal them during a fight. Um, here we go, 220. I've never done a full round. I think three is a full round. Okay, so first what we're going to do uh, is move my camera. Because we're going up here. Music, man, the music. Okay. Move my camera here because we're going to use the dice. We're going to use the dice. Okay. We're not going to fully heal it yet. But what we're going to do is... Uh, free rotation. We're going to guard this guy. Have the boss attack him. That's fine. Okay, we want to do that, but also we want to get their strengths are the strengths are, are pretty decent. Their strengths are decent. Oh damn it! Okay, so we want to get him back in. That's the thing. Uh, we can still hit him. Okay. Uh, his guard, get his guard back up. We've got a free rotation. We've got a reckless attack. Let's just hit him with a reckless attack. And then... This is... I want to re-roll, but it's pretty pointless because the boss isn't in. We need the boss in. There we go, he's in. This is what we want. This is what we want. Okay, so... So that's not an attack. This is an attack all... Any Chimera to the boss. Uh, the leader, sorry. Okay. This should this should be alright. This should be alright. Okay. And we're going to attack. Then we're going to attack all. Um, he's still got guard. This is a good way to give him guard. So we're going to give him guard. He's going to attack. Um, oh, it bypassed his guard. Okay. Okay, we could do it. We could do it with one. We could do it with one Chimera, guys. We can do it. I've got it here. Okay. Enemy range attack. Missed. Attack. Missed. Okay, that's fine. So we've attacked him back. We can get guard back. Uh, attack all. Attack. Here we goes. I'm back. Welcome back, Sly. Welcome back, legend. Welcome back. So he's on 134. And he was on 220. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do it with this one guy, guys. This absolute stallion. Thank you so much for the follow. Keith. Keith, you absolute legend. You're a legend in the circles, dude. Trust me. Trust me. How's it going, man? Okay, could we could re-roll. I think we should re-roll. We may as well use it. Uh, re-roll. Let's do it. Oh, I was hoping to get some more attacks. So we can get a buff. I just know a lot of people. <laughs> Welcome in, dude. We're playing Dice, Dice Folk. This is a, uh, a game coming out on the 20th of June on the Nintendo Switch. It's already out on Steam. It's a uh, roguelike game. So once you die, you go back to the start and all the maps are different. And um, you keep your chimeras. You, you, you find them as you go through the uh, the maps. Um, you capture them, use them in your battles. And you use the dice to control the outcome of your actions. Um, okay, so we can still do range attack on him. Uh, free rotation. Enemy range attack. It's the boss. So he's guarded. Let's hit him. Hit him for incapacitate for an 11. We've got a full heal, hoy. Okay, guys. So as 
So our absolute tank is going to full heal. Uh, energy shock. I don't think this guy's got intelligence. Oh, he has got intelligence. Okay. I don't think I've got intelligence. Um, you may as well give him the charge. May as well do that. Uh, support attack. Any chimera supports the leader. So we need to get the we need to get the leader in, but we can't. Well, he's missed, but we still smacked him. Uh, let's get that one. We need to get him in. The boss, sorry. The boss. Listen to his noise. I redeemed a raffle. Okay. Looks like a low-budget Pokemon. <laughs> low-budget? <laughs> it still looks pretty cool. It still looks pretty cool. I know what you mean, but like... Depends what Pokemon you want about. If you say low budget Pokemon Violet, <laughs> I'd understand. But when you just say Pokemon, <laughs> you could refer to like red. <laughs> Exclamation mark join to join the raffle. A member, whoever is got the most points at the end of June wins um, wins a, uh, a prize, which is a free game, guys. It's a free game. Uh, we can't rotate and we can't rotate, so we might as well use it. Um, okay, so we need him to rotate out, man. Enemy range, okay, uh, range attack, and then we can mirror that, and we will hit him, and we'll mirror that and hit him. Okay, that's fine. Beautiful. I guess we've got support attack. We need to get rid of this guy, man. At least there's no like three different frogs. So Sly won because he was the only one in the raffle. <laughs> Come on, Sly. GG's, dude. GG's. Okay. There's a rotation. I think we should kill this guy before we rotate, just in case. Range. Bang. Kill him. Who's coming in? The boss is coming in, so we're going to rotate. The boss, boss is there. There's the boss. Uh, randomly attack the boss. Happy with that. But we can't rotate. Uh, this guy's got a shield. Let's get the shield back up. For guard. Okay. It's the last stretch, guys. Which means... We've got to use this, because he's only got 10 health left. The boss has got 10 strength every single time. So we're going to use that. Does this mean? Does this mean we're doing it? 36 left. 36 left. Um, I need him to take intelligence. Oh, I could have done with him taking a hit before the guard, actually. Um, we're not rotate. Ah, oh, we have to rotate him out. Damn. So close. Oh, here we go. Have that. Random. Rotate him in. Yes. Gonna hit him. Gonna hit him again. Oh, guys, are we gonna do it? Charge. We have to charge. Um. Mm, there we go. We've done it. Is this it? Have we done it? The third world. For, with the warrior. With the warrior talisman. Have we done all three worlds? Mausoleum has appeared. You can explore the new biome and discover its fauna. Yeah, so I figured that when we do that, we're going to get a new thing. And we've got a new biome as well. Oh, yes. This content is added to the end. There's over a hundred. There's over a hundred different chimeras on this, guys. We've unlocked a chimera. So we had a hundred. Well, we had 13 battles. One elite battles, three boss battles. Uh, end gold, 49. Um... Speed was zero. We didn't. We didn't speed up. Uh, reach Salem's door. One hundred. Salem's door is the last one. Then. Oh, guys, look at that. This was our team as well. Look at that. Look at our boys. Look at our boys. You ready for some Mario Kart as well? By the way, guys. You ready for some Mario Kart? This is our team. Uh, Belloid with A. We had that from the very, very start. Um, GGS. I haven't finished it before, guys, and I've done it. 
I've done it on stream. I haven't finished it before. That's uh, that's awesome. So quit and retry is basically the same anyway, guys. Um, you've unlocked everything. Um, yeah, look at that, man. We didn't use all our gold, did I? so that's a talisman. That's that's for the warrior talisman. Quit and uh, retry doesn't really doesn't really make uh, make a difference there. Um, yeah, so that is dice folk. This is from the awesome guys at Good Shepherd Entertainment. Thank you so much for giving us this game. This is available on the twentieth of June on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we uh, it's already available on the Steam uh, app. If you've got Steam, you can buy it already and play it. Uh, you've also got a compendium here with all the different uh, chimeras, um, all the different equipment we've collected. So this is all the stuff that we can collect throughout each run. It is a roguelike game, so once you get to the end, um, you start again. Or, uh, once you're defeated, you start again. So yeah. How awesome is that? I just want to double check something. So we've got Warrior Talisman. Okay, we went all the way through for it. We've got Trial Mode now for... Okay. Uh, Storm Talisman, Wrath Talisman, Pain Talisman. So there's a, there's the four Talismans still. Oh, guys, that's awesome. That is awesome. That is Dice Folk. Let's do a little quick speech for uh, for, for YouTube. Uh, guys, this has been Dice Folk. This is available on the 20th of June on the Nintendo Switch. We're playing it right now, thanks to the awesome guys at uh, Good Shepherd uh, Entertainment. Thank you so much, guys. And it's available on Steam if you want to play it right now. Uh, I'm going to do a giveaway on the 20th of June out of my own pocket. We're going to give away a copy of this on Nintendo Switch on the 20th of June. Um, yeah, be there. Be there, guys. Be 